Thank you, musicians. Please remain standing for the singing of the alma mater. It's my privilege to introduce for the invocation the president of the University of Scranton, uh, Father Quinn of the Society of Jesus. Before you were even formed, God knew you. While in your mother's womb, God named you. At your birth, God's breath filled you with life. This evening, we celebrate what you have become at this moment in time. And so we pray. God of our beginnings, we thank you for the gifts of these graduates their excitement, their awesome wonder and curiosity, their open speech and encouraging words. Their contributions have blessed and challenged us, and we have become richer and a more diverse community because of them. As they step forward into the world that awaits, comfort their fears with the full knowledge of your divine presence. Strengthen their resolve to walk in your footsteps as modern-day disciples in a world that needs their spirit. Guide their feet as they move through life, protecting them from the pitfalls of darkness while they help to lead future generations into the warmth and promise of your life. Eternal One, silence from whom our wor words come, questioner from whom our questions arise, lover of whom all our loves are hints, disturber in whom we find our rest, mystery in whom depths we find healing and ourselves. Enfold our graduates now in your presence. Restore them to your peace. Renew them through your power and ground them in your grace. Amen. Yes, please be seated. Thank you, Father Quinn. And to all of you, welcome to class night. I am Hal Bailey, the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs here at the University. Class night is the night we celebrate the accomplishment of excellence. The students honored here are the cream of the crop, not because they did well on standardized tests, but because they sweated through 
the hard work of classes and labs, orals and theses, and match their efforts with the demands of their discipline. There will also be honorees tonight in areas important to Jesuit education, service and commitment to others, a dedication to teaching, and a goal of being that all around great person. You will see over the next hour, as the deans and vice presidents give awards, that they did okay. Actually, they were stupendous. You should be proud, as we are proud. Before, though, I give away the podium to the deans, I want to congratulate and thank all the parents, the ones not in black. Tonight, we are celebrating student accomplishment, but none of us would be here if it were not for you. Your goals for your children, your care and attention, and I would be remiss if I did not mention it, your abiding emotional and financial support has all made this evening possible. So on behalf of the faculty and the entire university, as well as your children, our students, I offer you the deepest thanks. You too have done well. So it is now my pleasure to begin the evening. I'd like to introduce Dr. Deborah Pellegrino, the Dean of the Punisca College of Professional Studies. Dean Pellegrino. Thank you, Dr. Bailey. This is an exciting night, especially for Punisca College of Professional Studies. Our first award winner is Lauren Ann Totiero. She's the recipient of the Excellence in Community Health Education. She's a community health education major with a minor in counseling and human services and a concentration in nutrition. She is the graduate of Great Valley High School in Malvern, Pennsylvania. She is the president of the Community Health Education Club and is a member of COPE, Coalition of Peer Ed Educators. Lauren plans to work and then attend graduate school for public health. David Lawrence Hubby, this is how I was told to say your name, Hubby, <laughs> recipient of the Excellence in Counseling and Human Service Award is Counseling and Human Services major with a minor in theology and a graduate of Wyoming Valley West High School in Plymouth, Pennsylvania. He is a member of Who's Who, Alpha Sigma Nu, Theta Alpha Kappa, Tau Epsilon Alpha, and has had leadership roles in campus ministry, summer orientation, Scram Emerging Leaders, and the University <laughs> Programming Board. David will pursue graduate work in community counseling at the University of Scranton. Ellen Margaret Cohen, we call her our Maggie Cohen. Recipient of the Excellence in Early Childhood Elementary Education Award is an early childhood elementary education major and a graduate of Albertus Magnus High School in Bardonia, New York. She is a member of Who Who, Kappa Delta Pi, and the Council for Exceptional Children in the Association of Childhood Education International. She participated in various retreats and leadership, but more importantly, Maggie will be a Fulbright English teaching assistant in South Korea starting in July 2012. Chelsea Marie Bachman recipient of the Excellence in Early Childhood Special Education Award, is an early childhood special education major, graduate of Belvedere High School in Belvedere, New Jersey. She is a member and officer of both Kappa Delta Pi, Alpha Lambda Delta, and tutored low-income children. Chelsea will be working as a camp counselor for the summer, and she's seeking employment. Christina Lennon, recipient of the Excellence in Elementary Special Education Award, Again, an elementary special education major, graduate of Cardinal Doherty High School in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She is a member of Alpha Sigma Nu, Kappa Delta Pi, co-president of the Council of Exceptional Children, and she received the Frank O'Hara Award. She taught CCD at Immaculate Conception Parish and was a mentor through Emergency Aid of Pennsylvania, and she volunteered in the District of Philadelphia Schools. She plans to teach in our urban Philadelphia area. Ashley Suzanne Vig Aniac, how did you? Do? Recipient of the um, Mary E. Quinn Award for Excellence in Secondary Education. 
She is second education general science major and a graduate of Nazareth Academy High School in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She is a member of Alpha Lambda Delta and Kappa Delta Pi. She plans to return to Philadelphia to teach science in the middle or high school level. Philadelphia is very lucky, are you noticing this? Carolyn Marie Gillespie, recipient of the Excellence in Exercise Science and Sports Award, is an exercise science major with a minor in psychology, a concentration in nutrition, and is graduate of Lincoln Newer High School in Newmarket, Maryland. She is a member of PEK, Honor Society, and member of Exercise Science Club, and captain of the University of Scranton Women's Swim Team. She plans on attending East Stroudsburg University for a master's degree in exercise science. Lauren Nicole Weaver, recipient of Excellence in Health Administration Award. She is a major in health administration with a minor in business and is a graduate of Holy Redeemer High School in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. She is a member of the Women's Business Honor Society and is president of the Health Administration Society. She plans to work for the GFK Group in East Hanover, New Jersey, and then pursue an MBA. Megan Marie Stewart, recipient in Health Advocacy Award, is a community health education major and graduate of Our Lady of Mercy Academy in Sylset, New York. She is a member of Alpha Sigma Nu, the president of Colleges Against Cancer and Relay for Life. She is involved in the American Cancer Society at the divisional level. She is a Eucharistic minister, is an attorney, interning at the Jewish Community Center. She plans to work for a nonprofit and attend graduate school. Emily Christina Jaworski. Recipient of the Excellence in Human Resource Studies Award is a human resource studies major with a minor in business and finance and is a graduate of Buena Rich Regional High School in Buena, New Jersey. She is president of the Society for Human Resources student chapter at the university. Emily plans to work for the state of New Jersey as a human resource intern at Ancora Hospital while pursuing her graduate degree in human resources online through the University of Scranton. We had our first graduating class today of a uh, party and celebration of the human resource online program, how to get that in there. <laughs> All right, here we go. You know, information, you don't always know. Julianne Ostrowski, recipient of the Excellence in Nursing Award, is a nursing major and graduate of Pittston Area High School in Pittston, Pennsylvania. She's a member of Alpha Sigma Nu, Sigma Theta Tau, and the Student Nurses Association. She is a faculty research assistant, a peer tutor, and was an undergraduate teaching assistant for anatomy and physiology. She participated in a service trip to Savannah, Georgia, and volunteered at St. Joseph's Center in the VNA Hospice. Julianne plans to be employed in the Philadelphia area with future plans for master's and the doctorate degree in nursing, and I hope she comes back to the University of Scranton. Caitlin Ian Hayes, recipient of the Sigma Theta Tau International Scholarship in Nursing Award, is a nursing major and a graduate of Sacred Heart Academy in Hempstead, New York. She is a member of Who's Who, Alpha Lambda Delta, Sigma Theta Tau, and the Student Nurses Association. She too participated in a service trip to Savannah, Georgia, and represented the university at the Jeffrey Allen Walp Memorial Student Nurses Challenge and the Promise of Nursing for Pennsylvania events. Caitlin plans to attend the Graduate Nurse Residency Program at the NYU Langdon Medical Center and eventually to become a nurse practitioner. Kristen Marie Lassis, recipient of the Excellence in Occupational Therapy Award, is an occupational therapy major with a minor in counseling and human services and is a graduate of Lake Deer Academy in Upper Montclair, New Jersey. She is a member of Alpha Sigma Nu, Alpha Epsilon Delta, Alpha Lambda Delta, and the Students for Occupational Therapy Association. She was a resident assistant, a Eucharistic minister, and she will complete her master's in occupational therapy at the University of Scranton and plans to pursue a career in physical re rehabilitation and home health. Now, thank you, Philadelphia is very lucky. Did you notice that? Now, Associate Dean Kenneth Lord, Associate Dean will introduce the award recipient for the Kenya School of Management. Good evening. I am very proud to present the outstanding award-winning seniors from the Kenya School of Management. Ronald Woznock, Jr., recipient of the Excellence in Accounting Award, is a graduate of E.L. Myers High School in Wilkes-Barre. Ronald is graduating from the University of Scranton with majors in accounting and finance. His previous honors include recognition in who's who among America's college students, selection for the Kenya School of Management's Business Leadership Honors Program, and induction into the Omicron Delta Epsilon International Honor Society in Economics. 
He has served as president of the Society of Accounting Students and has participated as a member of the Kenya School's Business Club and Student Services Committee. He will be putting his accounting degree to work as a staff accountant in the audit practice of Parente Beard starting in September. Timothy Patrick McGurin, Jr., recipient ex aequo of the Pennsylvania Institute of Certified Public Accountants Award, is a graduate of Scranton Preparatory School where his achievements as an athlete and scholar included a fourth place finish in the Pennsylvania State Singles Tennis Tournament and induction into the National Honor Society. As an accounting major at the University of Scranton, Timothy has earned induction into the Alpha Lambda Delta and Beta Gamma Sigma Honor Societies and was the recipient of the O'Hara and Rose Kelly Awards. He has served as captain of the university's men's tennis team and participated in the Society of Accounting Students, Business Club, and the Pennsylvania Institute of Certified Public Accountants. He is already pursuing an MBA at the University of Scranton and thereafter plans to attend law school and become a cor corporate attorney. Matthew John Nealon, recipient ex aequo of the Pennsylvania Institute of Certified Pub Public Accountants Award, is a graduate of Abington Heights High School in Clark Summit. He is listed in Who's Who Among America's College Students, has served as secretary of the Alpha Sigma Nu National Jesuit Honor Society, and has been also been selected for the Kenya School of Management's Business Leadership Honors Program and inducted into the Beta Gamma Sigma National Business Honor Society. He's been vice president of the Society for Accounting <coughs> Students and was the co-founder of the Ignatian Consulting Club and a member of the Business Club. His other activities include Scranton Emerging Leaders, the University Review Board, Pennsylvania Institute of Certified Public Accountants Student Ambassador, YES Program Student Mentor, Red Cross Volunteer, PricewaterhouseCoopers National Leadership Adventure in Chicago, and Deloitte and Touche National Leadership Conference in Scottsdale, Arizona. He will start full-time work with Deloitte & Touche LLP in Philadelphia this fall. Joseph Thomas Bervella, recipient of the Excellence in Business Administration Award, is a graduate of Stroudsburg High School where his athletic prowess in soccer and tennis led to his being named the 2008 Mountain Valley Conference Player of the Year. A dual major in Business Administration and Finance, Joseph made the Dean's List all four years at the University of Scranton and was inducted into the Alpha Lambda Delta Freshman Honor Society and the Beta Gamma Sigma Business Honor Society. He served as treasurer of the Ignatian Consulting Club and has participated as a member of Scranton Emerging Leaders, the Business Club, and Portfolio of Responsible Investments under Student Management. A four-year member of the University of Scranton men's varsity soccer team, he was three times on the NCAA Landmark Conference Academic Honor Roll and served on the university's Student Athlete Advisory Committee. He was a financial fellowship at MetLife and captain of the consultant team that represented the University of Scranton at Georgetown University's McDonough Hilltop Business Strategy Challenge. His future plans include further education to earn chartered financial analyst and certified financial planner designations, and someday owning his own wealth management office. Nicholas A. Caselli, recipient of the Excellence in Economics Award, was valedictorian of the 2008 graduating class at Valley View High School in Archibald, and came to the University of Scranton as a presidential scholar. Recipient of the prestigious Frank O'Hara Medals in 2009, 10, and 11, Nicholas has earned a dual major in economics and finance and a minor in mathematics. He has served as president of the university's chapter of the Omicron Delta Epsilon National Economics Honor Society and was also inducted into the Beta Gamma Sigma and Alpha Lambda Delta Honor Societies. He's been named to the dean's list each semester, was selected to participate in the university's leadership and civic responsibility seminar, and claimed first prize in the 2010 Doyle Stock Trading Competition. He has worked as a writing consultant at the university's writing center, and upon graduation, he will attend the University of Chicago Law School. Douglas Alfred Lazara, recipient of the Excellence in Electronic Commerce Award, graduated from North Hunterton High School, Hunterton High School in Annandale, New Jersey. A dual major in electronic commerce and finance, Douglas has been a member of the portfolio of responsible investments under student management. Upon graduation from the University of Scranton, he plans to obtain employment in the information technology field or attend graduate school, possibly in law. Daniel S. Krajewski, 
recipient of the Excellence in Finance Award, graduated from Long Island's Oceanside High School. A finance major, Daniel has previously earned academic recognition at the University of Scranton through being named to the Le Business Leadership Honors Program and through induction into the Omicron, Delta Sigma, and Beta Gamma Sigma Honor Societies. He has been co-head of Portfolio of Responsible Investments under Student Management and head of the university's 2011-12 CFA Institute Research Challenge team. He also played intramural football, tutored students in math and economics, and was a member of the Bridge Club. He has been engaged by RBC Capital Markets in New York City, where he will serve as an analyst in that organization's global markets program. Mark R. Grambo, recipient of, recipient of the Excellence in International Business Award, is a graduate of Scranton Preparatory School. An international business major, Mark will graduate with a minor in philosophy and a concentration in Latin American studies. In 2011, he was awarded a President's Fellowship for summer research to explore, quote, greenwashing ethics and U.S. ecotourism, close quote. He has presented his research results at academic conferences in Pennsylvania and Philadelphia. He is a member of both Beta Gamma Sigma and Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Societies. A member of the university's varsity baseball team, he served as the bright vice president of the International Business Club, and he achieved dean's list every semester. Megan Ashley Adesi, dual major in management and operations management, is recipient of both the Excellence in Management and the Excellence in Operations Management Awards. A graduate of Connecticut's Newtown High School, Megan was a 2009-10 McGowan Scholar. She was listed in Who's Who Among America's College Students and was inducted into the Alpha, Sigma, Nu, and Omega, Beta, Sigma Honor Societies. She has served as secretary and a board member of the Business Club and as Information Services Director for the Greater Scranton Junior Chamber of Commerce. She has been a LearnVest College Ambassador, a Junior Achievement Volunteer, and a tutor for the University's Center for Teaching and Learning Excellence. She also interned for two summers at Santa Fe Pasteur and is an equestrian. She has been accepted into the University of Scranton MBA program and is employed full-time at the Foley Law Firm in Scranton. Angela Rose Negri, recipient of the Excellence in Marketing Award, is a graduate of New York's Miller Place High School. Along with her marketing major, Angela is earning minors in operations management and Italian. She was selected for the Kenya School of Management's <coughs> Business Leadership Honors Program and has been inducted into the Alpha Sigma Nu, Beta Gamma Sigma, and Omega Beta Sigma Honor Societies. A member of the Italian Society and the International Business Club, she spent a semester abroad at the American University of Rome in Italy. She also spent a year as a peer educator in the Coalition of Peer Educators. Upon graduation, Angela will be working as a project coordinator in human resources at Arnold Worldwide in New York City. Angela D. Kokas, recipient of the Edward J. Spitzer Scholarship Award, is a graduate of Wallen Popak Area High School in Hawley, Pennsylvania. She is a major in accounting with a minor in finance, has been a Dean's List recipient each semester and a member of the Omega Beta Sigma Honor Society and the Society of Accounting Students. Angela has been involved in the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, or VITA, sponsored by the University of Scranton and the United Way of Lackawanna County. She began as an intern in 2011 and became mobile site coordinator and manager this year. Upon graduation, Angela plans to pursue her MBA at the University of Scranton while continuing to manage the VITA program sites. Afterwards, Angela will be preparing for her CPA. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dean W. Jeffrey Welsh of the College of Graduate and Continuing Education. Thank you, Ken. This year's recipient of the Excellence in Liberal Studies Award is James J. Francis Shelley. Mr. Francis Shelley has been employed at the University of Scranton since 1982, working his way through a variety of positions at ever increasing responsibility. Currently, he's the Director of Information Technology Services here at the University. Jim earned an associate's degree in computer science from Penn State in 1982 and completed his bachelor's degree in liberal studies, summa cum laude, in December of 2011 with a cumulative GPA of 3.85.
He's been inducted into the National Jesuit Honor Society, Alpha Sigma Nu, and into the National Honor Society for Non-Traditional Students, Alpha Sigma Lambda. Mr. Francis Shelley has been a member of several local councils of Knights of Columbus, and is currently active in Council 6050 in Moscow, PA, and in the Father Joseph Barrett Assembly 1859 in Moscow. This year's recipient of the excellence in the LPN to BSN Completion Nursing Program, Cecile Morris. She began her studies at the University of Scranton in 2005, 22 years after earning her LPN from Residian School of Practical Nursing in 1983. She will graduate in May with a BS in nursing and will continue on toward her master's degree with the goal of becoming a nurse educator. While at the university, Lucy has earned the Frank O'Hara Award for Academic Achievement. She's been inducted into the Alpha Sigma Lambda National Honor Society for Nutritional Students and into the Sigma Theta Tau International Honor Society in Nursing. She has received the Charlotte Newcomb Scholarship, has been chosen for inclusion in who's who among students at American colleges and universities. With almost 30 years of nursing experience, Ms. Morris has demonstrated a deep and abiding commitment to her chosen profession. Since 1990, she has been employed at Mercy Hospital, now known as Regional Hospital. Her community involvement revolved around her church, the American Red Cross, and the American Cancer Society. Our recipient this year of the Outstanding Associate Degree Award is Agnes Strubel, who unfortunately could not be with us tonight. She was born and raised in Poland before coming to the United States in 1989. She earned an Associate in Arts degree from the Borough of Manhattan Community College in 1997 and began working as a translator while pursuing her studies at Brooklyn College in film production. Ms. Strubel moved to Northeast Pennsylvania and began her studies at the University of Scranton in 2010, completing her associate degree in health administration in December of 2011 with a GPA of 3.88. She is employed at the Scranton Times while pursuing her bachelor and master's degree in health administration. Agnes has been inducted in the Alpha Sigma Lambda, the National Honor Society for Nutritional Students. She volunteers at the Lay Clinic at the University of Scranton and with the health program at Moses Taylor. It's now my pleasure to introduce my colleague and friend, Dr. Brian Kniff, the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Thank you, Dean Welsh. <coughs> Thomas M. Marino, recipient of the Excellence in Biochemistry Award, is a graduate of, of Union Endicott High School in Endicott, New York. He is a biochemistry major with a mathematics minor a member of the Health Professionals Organization, an academic tutor, and a volunteer at the Leahy Food Pantry, the local Big Brothers Big Sister program, and the Clothing Closet. This fall, Thomas will be attending the State University of New York Upstate Medical University. Abby R. Clark, recipient ex aequo of the Excellence in Biochemistry, Cell, and Molecular Biology Award, is a graduate of Southhold High School, Southhold, New York. She is a biochemistry cell and molecular biology major and is a member of the Honors Program and the Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Society. Abby is also a member of the Health Professionals Organization, a tutor in the Center for Teaching and Learning Excellence. She has been a finalist for the Laboratory of Molecular Biology International Scholarship, Cambridge University, and a winner of the Ellen Miller Casey Award for Research in the Honors Program. Abby will begin her graduate studies in the fall at Harvard University to attain her PhD in the biomedical and biological sciences. Martin T. Berger, recipient ex aequo of the Excellence in Biochemistry Cell and Molecular Biology Award, is a graduate of Scranton Preparatory School, Scranton, Pennsylvania. Martin is a biochemistry cell and molecular biology major and a theology religious studies minor. He is a member of the Honors Program and the Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Society. Martin is a member of the Health Professions Organization and has studied in Poland, Uganda, and Ecuador. Martin will be attending the Harvard School of Dental Medicine in Boston, Massachusetts. Paulina R. Maida, recipient of the Catherine and Bernard Highland Memorial Award for Excellence in Biology, is a graduate of Seton Catholic Central High School in Binghamton, New York. She is a double major in Biology and Hispanic Studies with a double minor in History and Biochemistry and a Latin American Studies concentration. Pauline is a member of the Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Society and the Health Professions Organization and a peer tutor for the Center for Teaching and Learning Excellence. Pauline is a volunteer for the Leahy Center Office and translator and coordinator for the Leahy Food Pantry. She plans to attend medical school to receive her PhD and MPH degrees. Kelly Zacchio, recipient of the Excellence in Biomathematics Award, is a graduate of West Scranton High School in Scranton, Pennsylvania. She is a double major in biomathematics and philosophy. She is a member of the Jesuit, Special Jesuit Liberal Arts Program, 
the Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Society, and the Health Professions Organization. She is co-captain of the University of Scranton softball team and president of the Student Athlete Advisory Board. Kelly has been accepted to the Smith College Post-Baccalaureate Program in Mathematics at the Center for Women in Mathematics, Northampton, Massachusetts. Catherine M. Wright, recipient of the Excellence in Chemistry Award, is a graduate of Rancon Coast Valley Regional High School in Mount Holly, New Jersey. Catherine is a major in chemistry with a minor in mathematics. She is a member of the Phi Lambda Upsilon Honor Society, Criminal Justice Club, Biochemistry, and Chemistry Clubs. Upon graduation, Catherine plans to pursue a PhD in chemistry at George Washington University. Uh, our next recipient could not be here this evening, but Benjamin V. Brust, recipient of the Excellence in Classical Languages Award, is a graduate of Bishop O'Hara High School in Dunmore, Pennsylvania. He has a double major in Latin and secondary education with a minor in Spanish. After graduation, Benjamin will be seeking employment as a Latin teacher. Michelle L. Kane, recipient of the Professor Bernard J. McGurl Award for Excellence in Communication, is a graduate of Haverford Senior High School in Havertown, Pennsylvania. She is a communication major with a management minor. Michelle is a member of the Lambda Pi Eta, Alpha Epsilon Alpha, and Omega Beta Sigma Honor Societies. She is the alternative music director for WURS, USR, excuse me, Scranton Royal Radio. Philip E. Cunningham, recipient of the Excellence in Computer Science Award, could not be here tonight. He is a graduate of North Pocono High School in Moscow, Pennsylvania. As a participant in the Combined Baccalaureate Master's Degree Program, Philip is a computer science major and will receive a master's degree in software engineering. He is a member of the Epsilon Pi Epsilon Honor Society and the Association for Computing Machinery. Upon graduating, Philip will be seeking employment with either a private company or the Department of Defense. Alex J. Kyoto, recipient ex aequo of the Excellence in Computer Information Systems Award, is a graduate of Kellenberg Memorial High School in Uniondale, New York. He is a computer information science major and a member of the Upsilon Pi Epsilon Honor Society and the Association for Computing Machinery. Upon graduation, Alex will be seeking employment in a text-based firm in New York City or Long Island. Sean R. Greib, recipient ex aequo of the Excellence in Computer Information System Award, is a graduate of Wallenpapak Area, Area High School in Hawley, Pennsylvania. He is a computer information system major with a double minor in business and finance. Sean is a member of the Upsilon Pi Epsilon Honor Society and the International Business Club and a member and former president of the Association for Computing Machinery. Sean is currently employed with Ernst & Young in New York City as an information technology risk and assurance associate. In addition, he would like to continue his education and pursue master's and doctoral degrees in information technology. Michael P. Farron, recipient of the Excellence in Criminal Justice Award, is a graduate of St. Joseph's Preparatory School in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He is a criminal justice major and a member of the Alpha Sigma Phi Honor Society. Upon graduation, Michael will be seeking employment in his area of study. Uh, our next award winner could not be here tonight, Sung K. Jung, recipient of the Dr. A. J. Cauley Award for Excellence in Electrical Engineering, is a graduate of Pleasant Valley High School in Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania. He is an electrical engineering major and the webmaster of the Institute of Electronic and Electrical Engineers. Upon graduation, Sung will be employed as a station engineer for PPNL in Susquehanna, Pennsylvania. Rosemarie C. Wong, recipient of the Professor Joseph B. Cullither Award for Excellence in English, is a graduate of Pocono Mountain East High School in Swiftwater, Pennsylvania. She is a double major in English and History. Rosemarie is a member of the Honors Program and Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Society. She is a consultant for the Writing Center and the chief copy editor for the Aquinas. Upon graduation, Rosemarie plans to attend the Villanova School of Law to obtain her Juris Doctorate in Practice Law in Pennsylvania. Jason R. Bohenick, recipient of the Excellence in Environmental Science Award, is a graduate of Bishop O'Hara High School in Dunmore, Pennsylvania. He is a triple major in environmental science, biology, and philosophy. 
Jason was a member of the Landmark Conference All Academic Team of 2010-2011. He is a member of the Phi Sigma Tau Honor Society and is the recipient of the Phi Sigma Tau Philosophy Paper Contest. Jason plans to study amphibian ecology on a full resident assistantship at Texas Tech University. Sarah M. Knights, recipients of the Professor Joseph G. Brunner Award for Excellence in Foreign Languages, Excellence in International Studies, and the Excellence in Philosophy Award, is a graduate of DeLone Catholic High School, McSherrystown, Pennsylvania. She is a triple major in International Studies, Hispanic Studies, and Philosophy. Sarah is a member of the Special Jesuit Liberal Arts Program, Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Society, and the University Players. After graduation, Sarah will be working at the New Mexico Immigrant Law Center as an immigrant advocate for the Jesuit Volunteer Corps in Albuquerque, New Mexico. She will also be the volunteer coordinator for the Bread and Blessings Program for Immaculate Conception Parish. Taryn P. Anthony, recipient of the Excellence in Forensic Chemistry Award, is a graduate of Mount St. Mary Academy, Watchung, New Jersey. She is a major in forensic chemistry and a minor in criminal justice. Tara is a member of the Alpha Lambda Delta Honor Society and Chemistry Club and works for the Center for Teaching and Learning Excellence. Taryn has an internship at the Allentown Police Department and is currently employed at Shot Glass Advanced Optics in Doria, Pennsylvania. After graduation, she will be a, te a graduate teaching assistant while pursuing a Master's of Arts degree in Chemistry at the University of Scranton. Rosemary A. Shaver, recipient of the Professor Frank C. Brown Award for Excellence in History and the recipient of the Professor Timothy H. Scully Award for Excellence in Political Science, is a graduate of Dallas High School, Dallas, Pennsylvania. She is a double major in history and political science with a minor in theology, religious studies, and a peace and justice concentration. Rosemary is a member of the Honors Program and Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Society. Rosemary is a Scully Scholar, the Editor-in-Chief of the Aquinas, and she received the Library Research Award. Upon graduation, she will perform a year of service through AmeriCorps and afterward will attend graduate school. Michael R. Iorfino, recipient of the J. Harold Brislin Memorial Award for Excellence in Journalism, is a graduate of Newtontown High School, Newtontown, Connecticut. He is a communication major and a member of the Lambda Pi Eta Honor Society. Michael has been a sports intern at the Scranton Times Tribune, an intern at PA Preps, and a contributor to the Aquinas. Michael is working as a print journalist, and upon graduation, he would like to pursue employment in his field at the Scranton Times Tribune or the Morning Call newspaper. Allison Elizabeth Carey, recipient of the Excellence in International Language Business Award, is a graduate of Bishop O'Hara High School in Dunmore, Pennsylvania. She is a major in international language business with a double minor in Chinese and history and a double concentration in Latin American and Asian studies. Allison is a member of the Honors Program, the Business Leadership Honors Program, and Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Society. Allison is a resident assistant, copy editor for the Aquinas, and a Fulbright National Finalist. Upon graduation, Allison will be traveling to Taiwan on a scholarship in order to improve her Mandarin Chinese skills. Ashley M. Vicini, recipient of the Excellence in Latin American Studies Award, is a graduate of Mid Valley Secondary Center in Troop, Pennsylvania. She is a double major in Latin American Studies and Philosophy with a minor in Spanish and a concentration in Women's Studies. Ashley is a member of the Honors Program and the co-secretary of the Phi Sigma Tau Honor Society. She is a volunteer at the Jane Copus Women's Center and participated in the University of Ministries International Service Program and in, a, in El Salvador. In 2011, she was the recipient of the President's Fellowship for Summer Research, where she conducted a case study in Puebla, Mexico. Upon graduation, Ashley will be participating in a year of service with AmeriCorps while serving as coordinator of a high school mentory program in Newark, Delaware. Laura R. Capasso, recipient of the Excellence in Mathematics Award, is a graduate of W.C. Mepham High School in Belmore, New York. She has a double major in mathematics and Italian. 
Laura is a member of Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Society, co-director of the Royal Ambassadors Program, and a supplemental instructor for the Center for Teaching and Learning Excellence. Laura is an AmeriCorps scholar in service to Pennsylvania and traveled to San Lucas, Guatemala, and Appalachia, Kentucky for service trips. Upon graduation, Laura will be doing a year of service at Cristo Rey High School in Boston, Massachusetts, while pursuing graduate studies in applied mathematics. Emily G. Rainey, recipient of the Military Science Leadership Award, is a graduate of Mechanicsburg High School in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. She is a major in philosophy with a double minor in leadership and Arabic. Emily is a member of the 2012 Class Committee, President's Alumni Liaison Society, and Phi Sigma Tau Honor Society Secretary. Upon graduation, Emily was commissioned into the U.S. Army as a second lieutenant, military intelligence officer at Force Carson, Colorado, 4th Infantry Division. Tori L. Salmon, recipient of the Excellence in Neuroscience Award, is a graduate of Pocono Mountain East High School, Swiftwater, Pennsylvania. She is a major in neuroscience with a triple minor in mathematics, biochemistry, and philosophy with concentration in women's studies. She is a member of the Honors Program and Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Society. Tori held summer research inter internships at the University of Pennsylvania and New York University. She plays clarinet in the University of Scranton Concert Band and sings in the University of Scranton Concert Choir. This fall, Tori will be entering Brown University's Neuroscience Graduate Program to begin work toward a PhD in neuroscience. Mary Ann T. Woody, recipient of the Professor Joseph P. Harper Award for Excellence in Physics, is a graduate of Marion Mercy Academy, Marion Station, Pennsylvania. She is a major in biophysics with a minor in mathematics. Marianne is a member of the liturgical core team and a Eucharistic minister. She has been a tutor for the Center for Teaching and Learning Excellence since her freshman year and a peer tutor for math and physics. She has participated in the faculty student research program for two semesters in chemistry and in physics. After graduation, Marianne will be attending Columbia University Teachers College for a master's in physics and deaf education. Karen M. Hudzinski, recipient of the Excellence in Psychology Award, is a graduation of Scranton Preparatory High School. She is a major in psychology with a minor in Spanish. Karen is a member of the Honors Program, a recipient of the President's Fellowship for Summer Research, a research assistant in the psychology department, a teaching assistant for various courses in psychology, and a presenter at both local and regional psychology conferences. Upon graduation, she plans to pursue a master's degree in consumer industrial research and psychology at Cleveland State University in order to embark upon a marketing research career. Vanessa M. Relvis, recipient of the Lawrence Lennon Award for Outstanding Service and Achievement in Psychology, is a graduate of St. Basil Academy in Jenkintown, Pennsylvania. She is a major in psychology with a minor in theater. Vanessa is a member of the Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Society, a research assistant and teaching assistant in the psychology department, and an active member of the University of Scranton Players, and a member of the University of Scranton Players Council. V Vanessa plans to seek employment opportunities in the school system while pursuing her, her goal of obtaining a graduate degree in school psychology. Eric M. Velouche, recipient of Excellence in Sociology Award, is a graduate of Pocono Mountain East High School in Swiftwater, Pennsylvania. He is a major in sociology and a minor in criminal justice. Eric is a member of Alpha Kappa Delta Honor Society and is participating in an internship with Lawrence A. Durkin Esquire. Upon graduation, Eric plans to attend law school. He has been accepted to the School of Law at DePaul, Regent, and Western New England Universities. Casey E. Kelly recipient of the Excellence in Theater Award, is a graduate of West Scranton High School. She is a double major in English and theater with a minor in philosophy. Casey is a member of the Special Jesuit Liberal Arts Program and the University of Scranton Players. Upon graduation, 
Casey plans to pursue a master's of fine arts in dramaturgy and afterward work as a literary manager or dramaturg. Maria A. Marks, recipient of the Excellence in Theology and Religious Study Award, is a graduate of Scranton Preparatory School. She is a double major in theology and counseling and human services. Maria is a member of the Tau Upsilon Alpha and Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Societies. She is a member of the Counseling and Human Services Association, University Ministries, the International Service Program, and the Orientation and Programming Board. Upon graduation, Maria plans to attend the Graduate School of Social Work at Boston College. Stephanie A. Pisco, recipient of the Excellent in Excellence in Women's Studies Award, is a graduate of North Pocono High School in Moscow, Pennsylvania. She is a double major in Women's Studies and History with a double minor in Philosophy and Political Science. Stephanie is a member of the Honors Program, Phi Alpha Delta and Phi Sigma Alpha Honor Societies. She has participated in College Democrats and the Scranton Inclusion Club. After graduation, Stephanie will be attending Seton Hall Law School. Philip P. Malley, recipient of the American Chemical Society Award, is a graduate of Honoy Falls Lima High School, Honoy Falls, New York. He has a double major in forensic chemistry and criminal justice. Philip is a member of the University of Scranton swim team and a volunteer as Iggy, the university mascot. I thought that might be popular. He is a member of the Chemistry and Criminal Justice Club. Upon graduation, Philip will be attending Syracuse University, pursuing a PhD in chemistry. I now have the honor and pleasure of introducing the world's greatest Fulbright advisor, Dr. Susan Trussell. Thank you, Dean Conniff. For those of you who are not familiar with the term Fulbright, let me start with a quick explanation that the Fulbright Program is the United States government's most prestigious scholarship that funds one year of study and or teaching in another country. Since the inception of the current program in the 1970s, 140 university graduates have been awarded these scholarships, a record matched by only a handful of universities and colleges in the nation. As the university's Fulbright advisor, it's my distinct honor to announce to you that once again, we have Fulbright winners in our graduating class. To date, two members of the class of 2012 have been awarded Fulbright scholarships. Ellen Maggie Coyne, as we know her, has already received one award here tonight, so I won't read all the details. Um, she's a native of Stony Point, New York. Uh, she majored in early childhood and elementary education and she's been awarded a Fulbright English teaching assistantship to South Korea. She's going to be teaching English and American culture in a Korean elementary school for the next year and hopes to also get involved coaching track or volleyball and volunteering with an organization for people with special needs. Maggie leaves for Korea on the 4th of July. Our second Fulbright winner is Kathleen Kennedy Lavelle, a graduate of Scranton Prep Kathleen is from Avoca, Pennsylvania. Kathleen majored in biochemistry, cell and molecular biology, and Hispanic studies, and minored in philosophy. A member of the SGLA program and a presidential scholar, she is a member of many honor societies, including Alpha Lambda Delta, Phi Sigma Tau, and Alpha Sigma Nu. She's not only excelled in her studies, but also has a remarkable record of volunteer work notably with the Leahy Clinic for the Uninsured here, for camp, here on campus, and she's also participated in international service work in Haiti. She's been awarded a Fulbright teaching assistantship to Madrid in Spain. She's going to spend the year teaching English, science, and math in a high school and volunteering in a local hospital there. When she returns to the US, Kathleen plans to attend medical school. Now, if you'll indulge me for a minute, I'm going off script. For not only have these two graduating seniors won Fulbrights, but so has a member of the class of 2010, who returned to Scranton this fall to apply for a Fulbright. I'd like to recognize our third Fulbright winner, Anna DeColi. 
a native of Brumo, Pennsylvania, and a graduated magna cum laude two years ago from the University of Scranton, with a major in neuroscience and minors in Spanish, management, and history. For most of the time since her graduation, she's been working for a nonprofit, the Foundation for the International Medical Relief of Children, and also for another NGO at a hospital in Uganda. Anna's been awarded a Fulbright Research Fellowship in Public Health to Granada, Spain, where she's going to spend the year researching the experience of Spain's diverse immigrant population when accessing healthcare and trying to understand how health workforces can best be developed to meet the specialized needs of immigrants. Congratulations, Anna. And also somewhere in this room is one very patient person who is still waiting on the final word of her Fulbright application, and that's Nicole Linko. And we all have our fingers crossed and we're all waiting patiently. Nicole Linko will be graduating on Sunday with a degree in international business, and she is hoping to be spending next year in Estonia looking at small business development in Estonia. Uh, and now I'd like to hand over the podium to Dr. Mary Engel, the university's director of fellowship programs. I get the easy job. Not only has Dean Kniff done all of the background work for the two young women we will honor now, so I don't have to read that. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the fellowships which they have won. Abby Clark, who's already picked up a couple of awards, received a Goldwater Scholarship last year. There are only 278 Goldwater Scholarships awarded in the entire United States. It's the premier award for undergraduate research science. Not only does Abby do all of the wonderful things that we would like research scientists to do, she's already a published author, she takes time out of her day to introduce freshmen to the work of Dr. Tim Foley's lab. She takes time to help pre-meds. She's not going to medical school. She's just going to slum it and go to Harvard and do a PhD in cell bio. But she's always the person that the pre-meds will go to when they're trying to figure out, how do I crack this research stuff and begin? Abby will always take the time. It's great fun to have worked with you. And then there's Sarah Knight. Her parents stopped me to thank me for helping her. You've read the list of awards this young woman has received. The only thing one has to do with Sarah is say, you can do this. Sarah is a recipient of a Truman Scholarship. There were only 60 Truman Scholarships awarded last year. Sarah was in El Salvador studying and working, volunteering when she applied for the Truman Scholarship. She did it almost completely online, and she kept saying, are you sure I'm good enough? I had the privilege of teaching Sarah at the end of her freshman year, and I assured her she was good enough. I assured my boss that if she got the Truman interview, he was going to pay to bring her back, and he said, oh, okay. And she flew from El Salvador to Philadelphia for her interview, managed a couple of hours to meet her mother for a meal, and then called me up and said, I'm sorry, I blew it. It was really hard, and I'm not sure I'm good enough. The Truman Scholarship is the premier undergraduate scholarship which honors people who wish to live a love life in public service. And as we look at what Sarah will be doing next year, that is certainly true. But as is her way, she's not sure what she's doing next week. She will be doing the Washington Summer Institute within the Truman Scholarship Program this summer. She already said no to one job offer. So she's temporarily unemployed until Tuesday when she gets to DC and will probably have multiple job offers. Congratulations, Sarah, and your parents. Thank you for loaning her to us. And I'm pleased to introduce to you the Reverend Thomas E. Roach of the Society of Jesus, who will announce the names of the students receiving the Jesuit Community Award for Outstanding Volunteer Service. Thank you, Dr. Engel. Kara Brindley, 
recipient of the Jesuit Community Award for Outstanding Volunteer Service, is a graduate of Bishop Shanahan High School, Downingtown, Pennsylvania. She is a major in nursing and a member of the Sigma Theta Tau, Alpha Lambda Delta, and Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Societies. Kara has participated in the nursing service program both in Scranton and Appalachia, Kentucky, and she is a member of the Students' Nurses Association. She is a volunteer nurse and chairperson of the Student Advisory Board of the Leahy Center, Kids into Health Careers. Upon graduation, Kara will be doing a year of service with Mercy Volunteer Corps in Savannah, Georgia, as a staff nurse and program coordinator at St. Mary's Health Center for the Uninsured. Michael Wencheck, recipient of the Jesuit Community Award for Outstanding Volunteer Service, is a graduate of Central Catholic High School, Reading, Pennsylvania. He is a double major in biology and philosophy and is a member of the Special Jesuit Liberal Arts Program, who's who, and the Alpha, Lambda, Delta, and Beta, Beta, Beta Honor Societies. Michael is the men's club volleyball captain and a member of the biology club, Effort, Justice Club, and Urban Bear Beats. His other activities include community outreach office, scholar in service to Pennsylvania, CISPA, <laughs> university ministries, student government, resident assistant, Scrant Emerging Leaders, and class of 2012 committee. Upon graduation, Michael will be doing a year of service teaching in the new Jesuit High School being established in Yap, Micronesia. Thank you. I know it's hot in here and the program's a little long, but let me say I've seen more expensive dental work in the last half hour than I've seen in a long time. And this is commencement weekend. You're supposed to be loose and having fun. So what I recommend is, first of all, all the award recipients, please stand up. Now all of you guys, give them the round of applause they all deserve. That was marginally better. <laughs> you guys can now sit down. Now, parents, you all stand up. Now you guys have some thank yous to give as well. That's a little better. I think we're, we're starting to get into the commencement weekend spirit, so thank you all. It is now my privilege uh, to introduce uh, the dean, uh, the dean, the <laughs> vice president. I did this a couple years ago, and he never forgave me. Uh, <laughs> the vice president for student affairs, Dr. Vincent Carilli. <laughs> vice President Carilli. Thank you, Dr. Bailey. Good evening, everyone. As the Vice President for Student Affairs, it is my pleasure to announce the recipients of the Student Life Award and the Lawrence Mann Award. All nominations were considered and chosen by a selection committee comprised of professional staff within the Division of Student Affairs. The Student Life Award is presented annually to a graduating senior who has worked diligently to improve the quality of life at the University of Scranton by selflessly giving of their time, gifts, and talents in order to assist fellow students through exceptional extracurricular involvement. Ms. Jenny Hoffman, recipient of the Student Life Award, currently resides in Flemington, New Jersey and majored in occupational therapy with a minor in counseling and human services. Jenny has been very active in extra and co-curricular programs and initiatives. She has mentored freshmen as a resident assistant and orientation assistant and engaged with the larger university community as a Christian life community leader, as a secretary of the Student Occupational Therapy Association, as an undergraduate biology teaching assistant, and a member of Leaders for a Brighter Scranton. 
In addition, she has served as a Eucharistic minister, a lector, a hospitality minister, and retreat hospitality minister. Jenny's service also extends beyond our, community, our university community. She has volunteered in San Diego, California, and the Dominican Republic on service trips, as well as to the Gino Murley Veterans Center here in Scranton. After commencement, Jenny will pursue a master's degree in occupational therapy here at the University of Scranton. Please join me in congratulating Jenny as the recipient of the Student Award. The Lawrence A. Mann Award is presented to a graduating senior that has demonstrated extraordinary involvement in student activities that exemplifies contributions to the community in refined, outgoing, and kind manner, consistent with the award's namesake. Professor Mann taught Latin for many years here at the university and lived in our residence halls as a lay counselor. He was revered by our students and others on campus for his dedication to our university and extracurricular activities. Mr. Robert Godomsky, recipient of the Lawrence Mann Award, currently resides in Plains, Pennsylvania and majored in neuroscience with minors in biochemistry and English. Robert has made it his personal mission to connect with incoming freshmen and instill in them a desire to engage in our community and the community beyond. Over the past four years, Robert has been involved, excuse me, has been ser served as a freshman resident assistant and orientation assistant, a participant and facilitator of our Scranton Emerging Leaders Program and, an in and the International Student Leadership Institute. In addition, Robert has tutored students in organic chemistry and neuroscience in the University Center for Teaching and Learning Excellence, Excellence, led Connections and Genesis Retreats, been a Christian life community leader, and took the initiative to begin a weekly program for students to pray the examine. Extending his dedication to service beyond the university community, Robert has participated in service trips to Guyana and Washington, D.C., and volunteered with Big Brothers and Big Sisters in hospice community care. Ever striving to make a difference, Robert has decided to defer his acceptance at the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine until fall of 2013 so that he can enter a year of service at the Capuchin Youth Family and Ministry in Garrison, New York. However, before beginning his year of service, Robert will spend two weeks this June participating in an international trip to Ecuador. Please join me in congratulating Robert as the recipient of the Lawrence Mann Award. It is now my pleasure to have Ms. Carolyn Pandolfo, Editor-in-Chief of the Windover Yearbook, come to the podium to read the dedication of the 2012 edition of the Windover. Carolyn. Thank you, Dr. Crilly. Good evening. On behalf of the 2012 Windover Yearbook staff, I would like to extend our congratulations to the class of 2012. You have all achieved academic success here at the University of Scranton and have made an impact on your community. We wish you the best of luck in your endeavors and have confidence that you are leaving the university well on your way to achieving greatness. Now, it is with great pride that I, Carolyn Pandolfo, introduce myself to you as the Editor-in-Chief of The Windover. The first volume of The Windover was published at the University of Scranton in 1948. The name of this publication is inspired by a poem titled The Windover, written by Gerard Manley Hopkins, SJ. Over the years, the Windover has proven to be the most traditional yearbook publication at the University of Scranton. Each volume contains new memories to be cherished by current students, faculty, staff, and alumni. Having these memories available to behold within the pages of the yearbook allows us to reflect on our time here at Scranton. The yearbook staff has spent countless hours making an effort to create and deliver this opportunity to all. After a year of hard work, I am proud to announce the dedication for volume 98 of the Windover. After this, I will elaborate on the choice made by our staff for the dedication that was made. As a team, we recognize and discuss the changes that are happening all around us in the Scranton community this year. Among the most major changes last year included saying farewell to our president, Reverend Scott Pollars, SJ, to whom volume 97 of the Windover was dedicated. Um, let's see. This year, the university welcomed and inaugurated a new president. In order to best reflect this year's theme, which is building a new you, we at the Windover would like to dedicate this publication to Reverend Kevin P. Quinn, SJ. Congratulations, Father Quinn. Prior to being named the 25th president of the University of Scranton on July 1st, 2011, Reverend Quinn has been known for his accomplishments at Santa Clara University in Santa Clara, California. 
A former high school teacher and a law clerk, Reverend Quinn identifies as a teacher and a scholar who focuses primarily on healthcare ethics. He is recognized for his contributions to law, to scholarly journal and book reviews. While serving at Santa Clara, Reverend Quinn was a professor of law and represented the Ignatian Center for Jesuit Education as its executive director. There, he implemented programs that support the mission and identity of both the center and the university. Reverend Quinn has shown a deep commitment to Jesuit higher education and dedication to sustaining its mission and identity. Although Reverend Quinn is already well accomplished and has made a long lasting impression on the Santa Clara community, we are confident that he will begin a new journey with us here at the University of Scranton. We welcome his commitment and leadership to the university and are looking forward to what he has to offer our campus. As our Jesuit identity continues to grow and prosper, there is no doubt that Reverend Quinn will grow with us and help shape our community throughout its transition and beyond. We hope that Reverend Quinn will learn as much from us as we will learn from him throughout our new journey together here at Scranton. Thank you. Surprises abound. Thank you, Carolyn. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Adam Gall, the outgoing president of our student government, who will offer brief remarks on behalf of the class of 2012 and also present the Teacher of the Year Award. Adam. Before I offer my remarks, I'm going to honor, I uh, have the privilege of honoring uh, Georgios Stylianidis. Uh, Stili um, Dr. Stylianidis joined the University of Scranton in 2008. He is an associate professor in the Department of Exercise Science and Sport, and he specializes in biomechanics and anatomy. He has been teaching anatomy, biomechanics, and research methods here at the university. He has been, invo been involved in both national and international research and has involved his students in that research. Dr. Stylianides has studied in Greece and France, as well as the University of Tennessee, Purdue University, Illinois State University, and the University of Toledo. He has worked at Tulane University, Tulane Hospital, NASA Mitchell in Louisiana, University of South Florida, University of Texas, East Stroudsburg, and of course, the University of Scranton. It's uh, my honor and privilege to award uh, Dr. Stylianis, uh, Teacher of the Year, 2012. Now I'll do my best. Tonight, we honor the best and the brightest of the class of 2012. Not an easy task, considering this class is filled with amazing young individuals, and it has been my honor and privilege to represent them as student government president. Tonight, all the hard work, the hours of studying and homework, the involvement in activities is, gets recognized. Tonight is a testament that we, the class of 2012, have answered the challenge the University of Scranton has presented to us. The University of Scranton has challenged us to embrace its Jesuit ideals and mission, inspiring us to grow as a whole individual with cura personalis and to go forth and set the world on fire. The University of Scranton has truly challenged us to be the best person we possibly can be. And by judging by all the accolades we've heard tonight, that seems to be incredibly true. I like to think that this place has challenged us to become modern day superheroes. Anyone who knows me knows I love my superheroes, especially Batman and Spider-Man. If anyone asks which hero I favor more, I say I love them equally as a parent loves his children, their children. And of course, with both of my favorite uh, heroes having new movies out this summer, I'm quite excited, but I digress. What do we think of when we think of heroes, even the ones considered super? We think of possibly the red cape and the special powers, but we think of determination, self-sacrifice, selflessness. We think of um, the challenges, characters that are challenged on a daily basis, just as we are as people. Superheroes are essentially men and women for and with others. 
They are an example of what we aspire to be at a Jesuit institution. Superheroes do not only exist in the pages of comic books or the silver screen, though. Modern day superheroes are present with us every day. Think about your favorite professor, mentor, or coach, how they were always willing to help you learn and succeed in absolutely any way possible. I'm sure many of you just thought of someone from your four years here at Scranton. We have many modern day superheroes working here. Then there are the superheroes here with us this weekend, our parents, guardians, and the closest family. They have worked so very hard, sacrificed much, some having to scratch and claw in these tough economic times to allow us to attend such a special school as Scranton. Tonight and this weekend, we are recognized for our achievements, and our families have been there every step of the way. And for that, we say thank you for all the countless deeds you have done for us, the guidance and the love you have always given us. As we celebrate tonight and this weekend, let us remember that whatever honor, whether academic, extracurricular, or just receiving that diploma on Sunday, means more than just getting a certain GPA or instituting a program or fulfilling a specific number of credits. No, it means much more because it occurred here at the University of Scranton where we have learned the values and ideals that will strengthen us when we enter the next stage of our lives. It will not be x-ray vision, super strength, or the ability to run faster than a locomotive, but rather it will be the understanding of hard work, determination, dedication, faith, hope, and love that will make up our superpowers that we will offer to the world. I advise you this weekend among the celebration to make sure you reflect. Reflect on what superpowers you have gained at Scranton. Reflect on what makes you authentically you. We are finishing up four of the best years of our lives. We have achieved so much, clearly. Had a whole lot of fun, made friendships that will last a lifetime, but we've also struggled. We've failed at times. We've made mistakes. We've disappointed ourselves and others. But even with the good and the bad, every experience here at Scranton, we have only grown and learned and developed. So as we move on after this Sunday and we start writing the next chapter of our lives, I challenge you to do your best to be a modern day superhero. And know that when you will, and know that when you do take on this challenge, you will have an emblem on your chest. It won't be a bat or a spider, although that'd be kind of cool or even a Superman S. It will be this. <laughs> and it will be a symbol that no one will be able to see, but will be imprinted in our hearts for the rest of our lives as we go out into the world and make a difference as only products of University of Scranton can. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Spider-Man. Uh, Adam, excuse me. <laughs> On a personal note, I'd just like to say uh, uh, it's been a pleasure to work with Adam over the course of the past year that he served as our student government president. It's been a privilege, and I know I speak on behalf of my colleague, Dean McShay, who's sitting in the front row over here, and thanking him for his tireless dedication to our university and his fellow students here at the university. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Gene Tallarico of the class of 1989 and a member of the University of Scranton Alumni Board of Governors who will present the Alumni Loyalty and Service Awards. Gene. Good evening, everyone. Um, boy, that's a hard act to follow, isn't it? <laughs> boy, I'll tell you, whoever planned this, I have to talk to them for next year. <laughs> Each year, the, the Alumni Society of the University of Scranton 
presents an award to two members of the graduating class for demonstrated loyalty and service to the university. The history of this award goes back beyond when I myself was a student at this institution. Today, past recipients are included amongst our most prestigious alumni. This year's recipients will be no exception, I'm certain. In early spring, all members of the university faculty and staff were invited to nominate graduating seniors enrolled in the Colleges of Arts and Science, the Kenya School of Management, and the Panuska College of Professional Studies. Out of 18 nominees, five students were selected to be placed on the ballot and presented to the senior class for a vote. The individual who earned the highest number of votes is here with us this evening to accept our first award and you'll know who he is. Pursuing two degrees in communications and political science, this recipient who hails from Philadelphia, PA, belongs to the honors program and did his final project on social media's impact on congressional campaigns. On campus, he's known as student government president, a member of the men's wrestling team, students in free enterprise, and a student emerging leader. He is also very active in the university ministries as he led a fourth day retreat in a week-long service program for freshmen called FIRST, Freshmen Involved in Service Together. He serves the Alumni Society well through his roles as a President's Alumni Liaison and a member of the Class of 2012 Committee where he is as a student representative of the university to alumni and other constituencies. By interacting with alumni on committees and at events, he engages alumni in the life of the university to help build and maintain connections with his classmates and the alumni society. While his academic and extracurricular credentials are impressive, this award honors not only those accomplishments, but the character of the recipient, his contribution to the university, and his everlasting affinity for all things Scranton. The Alumni Board of Governors has authorized the presentation of this year's Alumni Loyalty and Service Award to Adam J. Galt. The next award goes to a member of the College of Graduate and Continuing Education. Pursuing a degree in accounting, this recipient is currently employed as an operation analyst at Bank of America, in addition to maintaining his own business renting properties. He has been attending the University of Scranton since 2005 when he earned an associate degree in accounting from Lackawanna College. During his studies at the university, this recipient has been a committee member, secretary, and vice president of the Dexter Hanley Student Organization, continuing as vice president and treasurer of its successor, the Graduate and Continuing Education Student Organization. He has also worked with a volunteer income tax assistance program on campus. Within the community, he has been a volunteer with the United Way of Lackawanna County, as well as with Habitat for Humanity. It is with both pride and pleasure that the Alumni Board of Governors has authorized the presentation of this year's Alumni Loyalty and Service Award to James Donovan, Class of 2012, a valued student, individual, and after this weekend, a valued alumnus. You're getting better. And in honor of that, we come to the dramatic conclusion of tonight's presentations. Uh, the awarding of the Frank O'Hara Awards. Frank O'Hara Awards are named after a distinguished and famous uh, uh, teacher uh, from a time even before I was here. Uh, but it honors students who have the highest GPA in each of the colleges. Uh, the deans will again be presenting to their colleges. You are getting better, I'll tell you. From the Panisca College of Professional Studies, this year's award winner uh, was not one of the recipients to receive an award earlier. This year's award E is Kayla Teresa Cody. 
She is an occupational therapy major with a minor in psychology and a graduate of Immaculata High School in Summersville, New Jersey. Kayla is secretary and member of Alpha Epsilon Delta, Alpha Lambda Delta, and Alpha Sigma Nu Honor Societies. She was a member of the Student Occupational Therapy Association It was the fundraising committee member for the Royal Dance Tacular. She worked as a work-study student in the Occupational Therapy Department and as an undergraduate teaching assistant in the Biology Department. Kayla will return to the University of Scranton in the fall to complete her master's degree in occupational therapy and work as a graduate assistant in the Biology Department. Now I give you the Associate Dean, Ken Ward, from the Kenya School. Thank you, Dean Pellegrino. I was relieved to hear Adam, uh, one line from Adam's remarks when he said, we've had our failures. You could have fooled me. Uh, I felt a little bit less inferior when you said that, so thank you. Um, the recipient from the Kenya School of Management of the Frank O'Hara Award is one whom uh, I know I'm going to make horrendous mistakes uh, going forward next year because I've been so accustomed at award uh, ceremonies to standing up and just giving his name that it comes right off the tip of my tongue. Um, I was chatting with him a little bit earlier this evening. Uh, I'm not giving you his formal uh, bio because I, I read that to you earlier, but uh, mentioned in that bi earlier bio that he's going to the University of Chicago Law School. And I mentioned that uh, to him that one of the other smartest people I've ever known, a friend of mine from my younger years, is a graduate of the University of Chicago Law School. So uh, I'd like to ask to come to the stage now to receive the Frank O'Hara Award, uh, a 2012 recipient from the Kenya School of Management, one of the smartest people I know, Nicholas Angelo Caselli. Now my pleasure to turn the podium over to Dean W. Jeffrey Welch of the College of Graduate and Continuing Education. Dean Welch. This individual you've already met tonight, uh, and so I do not plan to reread that bio that you heard. Uh, so. To get to the point, this year's recipient for the Frank O'Hara Award for General Academic Excellence in the College of Graduate and Continued Education is Mr. James Joseph Franciscelli. Almost finished. In fact, the longer I stand here, the longer it will take before we're finished. So, with, with no further ado, uh, Dean Kniff from the College of Arts and Sciences. Uh, selecting the O'Hara Award winner for the College of Arts and Sciences always makes me a little nuts. Uh, earlier this evening, I'm sure you recall, you heard me read 33 award winners from our different academic programs. And all of the recognitions, all the accomplishments, all the graduate schools, medical schools, uh, you'll be glad to know those were abbreviated versions of their accomplishments. Uh, the O'Hara Award winner for the College of Arts and Sciences was up here earlier today. Uh, and let me call her to the stage again, Allison Elizabeth Carey. I would just add that to make my task a little less difficult, Allison had a perfect 4.0 grade point average. Uh, I refuse to believe anybody. I read through her transcripts. I read through the records thinking there's got to be an A minus here somewhere. 
but there wasn't. Uh, and beyond that, completed two of our programs of excellence in two different colleges. So congratulations, Allison. Well, congratulations to all the award winners. And from everyone else, once again, let's give them a big round of applause. That does conclude this evening's presentation. Uh, we will conclude it formally by processing out. I ask that you all remain in your seats until the stage party has left. Uh, there is an elevator that they're, waiting, they're keeping open for uh, Father Quinn and myself uh, to go downstairs. Uh, no, actually, that's true. And uh, the, the, the real reason, not why you're laughing, although I, you know, I appreciate the respect, um, is, is that there is a reception for you all downstairs on the first floor. Uh, the elevator is waiting for us because with all the bling that we've got, and now that Father Quinn is the honoree for the, uh, the Windover, uh, we expect that you will come charging downstairs after us. Uh, there's, there's good food, uh, I understand some drink, and it begins the celebration. So thank you all, and once again, award winners, congratulations.